Koenig. I'm Kyle T. Mosley of HBCU Legends. I have Coach Shumpert with us. Coach, uh, I know it was going to be a challenging game against the number five team in the country, but you guys uh, put the, out the effort at least. How do you feel about it? I feel like our guys came out great effort, came out from the jump uh, with high energy, especially on the defensive end. Um, those guys played hard and um, tough, you know what I'm saying? We, we, I thought in the first half we matched their physicality, you know what I'm saying? I think the problem we had was we couldn't score the basketball. Couldn't score the basketball, and I think they gave us trouble at times. You know, we had two guys that's out for the season. That's our biggest guys, the 16 um, okay. kid from Arizona State, the 611 kid from Scotland. So that 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 hurt us. Side, that that kind of hurt us with the rebound, and then that those guys were able to take advantage of the opportunity to uh, pound uh, pound us inside. And uh, I thought they did a good job of uh, sport, trying to spoil our weakness. We, we 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 hadn't had these guys all year, but but um, you know usually. We, you know, we usually have, we have like 75 points a game. Guys, that we had we got three guys in double figures. We had two. We had two today. Guys struck from the field. You know, I mean, Houston, Houston, that's what they do. I mean, they they, they hold you a low field goal percentage and, and, and low scoring of points. So I mean, they did. They, Houston did a heck of a job of um, guarding our guys, and um, and we just couldn't. Even, the shots wouldn't fall today. Cam Woods, he had a excellent game. How do you feel about him? He's a great player, great player, really can score the basketball, um, and he's always been a guy that's, that, that comes through in big moments. Yeah. He looks like he took charge of the game early on when everybody else was having trouble nailing the baskets. Yes, yes. I mean, I mean at, at halftime, he had 17 out of 21 points. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and usually, you know, usually with Marcus Watson, I said he scored him for like 15 points a game. Didn't have a, he, he, he didn't have the greatest game today. Um, could hit shots, a couple of questionable calls on uh, drives, um, and he, he didn't get he didn't get a lot of um, grace with uh, the calls that he <laughs> drove to the basket. I mean, still, I think you're being very kind. Yeah, being, being, kind, <laughs> being very kind. But uh, you know, he, he's a guy that averages like 15 and uh, five, and um, you know, um, he he'll, he'll get he'll pick himself back up, and get back going. But that's that's an unusual night for him too. Okay. Well, you know, one of the major reasons was the Coaches versus Racism initiative and uh, being the second round ball classic. How do you guys feel about just coming in to Houston and participating? Oh, we feel great. We feel, uh, you know, our, our team, uh, our school, you know what I'm saying? It was good that, you know, we were proud to get an invite yeah. you know, to, to, to this event, you know, to raise, um, you know, social awareness about, you know, the racial injustice and things that we face in our society right now. So, you know, we want to be, you know, by playing this game, you know, and, and sports as a platform, you know, we are able to voice, we are able to use our voice, you know, to, um, you know, to try to make this society better. All right. Awesome. What's next for you guys? Well, we got another HBCU uh, classic, Chris Paul Boost Mobile Classic. We play oh, good! And, and it's crazy. We, we're going to Vegas and we play Texas Southern, which is five minutes up the road. That's first game. All right. Thank you, Coach.